the glorious hallelujah. Eke hallelujah logo. As many that believe in the covenant of the Lord God of Elijah. I want to talk about you my gem while I'm religious. And you believe that your life will never remain the same again today. Jump to your feet and shout a glorious hallelujah. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him for what he's going to do in your life today. Give him all the praises. Lift him up for what only him alone can do. For what he did before in the previous of speak war and to long time problems. And for what he's about to do in your life today. Begin to worship him. Give him all the glory. Lift him up. Thank him and worship him. As the king of glory. The Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the ending. Worship him. The Lord God of Elijah. Who do it hurting. Praise him. Lift him up. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Father, we magnify you for the previous speak one to long time problems. What you have brought, all the miracle signs and wonders. We are returning all the glory back to you this morning. And we are thanking you in advance for what you are going to do here today. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You Again for the last time, I want you to roar like thunder as you shout seven glorious hallelujah to glorify the God who alone can do and find solution to all challenges in your life. Make sure that your own hallelujah swallow the hallelujah of five people around you because the God of Elijah is ready for every one of us here today. Are we ready? Shout seven glorious hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, I show. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I show. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. Amen. Amen.
In the book of Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. Nini we wo li Isaiah ori ori adot SKJ. Isaiah 50 verse 7. We wo li Isaiah ori adot SKJ. The word of God says. Ora la ru ka pe. For the Lord God we help me. Nini ori ora la ru yo ron mi la wa. Therefore. Nini ori na. Shall I not be confounded? Oju ki yo si ti mi. Therefore. Nini ori na. Have I set my face like a flint? Emi ti ti oju mi sorry okay wani. And I know. Emi si mo da ju. That I shall not be ashamed. I speak to the life of everyone that can shout three loudest amen. In his move here today, you shall not be put to shame. That's why I believe that this money Somebody is here. Your story shall turn to glory. I want you to roar like thunder as we're about to shout this one loudest prayer point. Very loud. Our God is the God that can do all things. And in this edition of Speak Woe unto Long Time Problems, I know that by His supreme power, you will locate your own problem and speak solution to them. Raise your two hands up. As we're going to roar like thunder in this singular prayer point. Say, Oh God of Elijah! Can you shout it very, very loud? By your covenant of solution on this mountain, speak solution to my situation. The program is speak woe. Every situation that you have been before him today, it will be met them by his fire. Say, Oh God of Elijah, by your covenant of solution on this mountain. Solution to my situation here today. In the name of Jesus. By your covenant of solution. Speak solution. To all my situation here today. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Decrease. mighty name of her. In Jesus' mighty name of her. Brother, if you have testimony to share with children of God this morning from the previous Speak World program, kindly come to the altar. If you have testimony to share with us this morning, kindly come to the to the altar. If you are, if you know you are happy to be in the presence of God and you're happy that you're alive, can you just begin to wave your hands to Jesus? If you know that God has been cool and kind, can you wave your hands to Him? Wave your hands to him. Wave your hands to Jesus. He's wonderful. He's able and capable to do exceedingly above all that we can ask of him according to his power in us. Somebody worship him. Oh Lord, we worship you. Also, this song it says, Oh, it says, You are good. You are kind. You are more than this. I'm lost for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Alishelewi. Your greatness is all I see. Hey, there is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. I will take it again, change. Then you will do it. You 
and hallelujah that cannot break down the wall of Jericho. Then you have not started. Somebody run around and scream hallelujah. If you have testimony to share with us this morning, our pastors and ministers are waiting for you. Somebody run around. Aha, oh yeah, now to the left, to the right. Come on, come on, come on, hey! Will you see me shout? I shout like a wind. 
your neighbor. Then you tell your neighbor. Oh, yeah, say, oh, she said, 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 I can't hear you. Oh, she said, oh, she said, oh, she said, but now what? Oh, she said, but now what? Oh, she said, oh, she said, oh, she said, but now what? Oh, she said, 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 Generation, 
cause but to show his excellency. All are required for life, God. I know. Say, I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. It is time for us to listen to testimony. On behalf of our Father in the Lord, the set man over this great assignment, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, and our precious mother in the Lord, Dr. Pastor Mrs. Chadi Olukoya, we are welcome you all to this special speak world program. As we listen to this testimony, the covenant of this mountain we surely speak for you. If you say amen, you are the one I'm talking to. Now. My name is Jonathan Olawale. During the COVID 19 of 2020, I lost what I was doing. It hit me pretty hard. But through but during the last peak war and so the long time problem out of the seven prayer requests that i wrote god answers it now i have a very good source of income and all the big accommodation loss has been restored brethren praise the lord Hallelujah. before now he said to us that he lost almost everything and the last big world program I and the Lord said we should write prayer requests and he confirmed to us that God of this mountain answer all the prayer requests that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus so, my name is Chashade. I want to give all the glory. The last week when I came here last year, I prayed for my sister, I have challenged Jesus in marriage, and I told God, oh Lord, settle this case. I want to restore our marriage back. And God did it in the way that I did not even expect. And I came here with pregnancy, I was weak. And I told God, if you can do it for me, I we come back here to testify to return the glory back to you and I want to appreciate God for making me to go to favor room and come back safe and sound. And I'm here, my baby is here. His name is Isaiah. Only of her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I 
ni igba pe ni arabirin won ti ni isoro pelu igbeya wo won awon mo ran to olorun wa ninu soro igbe si okere ti a se gbe yin won ni olorun ori oke ninu ati se ya nu o ti mu igbeya wo arabirin wa pada bo sipo a ti pelu o mu awon rure won sore o mo lanti lanti ori ofe na wa fi dupe lowo ro ye ba o ke hallelujah praise the lord my name is elizabeth ayilaru for some time now, my business, all my business have been done, very done. There was nothing coming up. During the last speak words to the Lord, I came here with a bitter heart and I prayed. And behold, God restored all my, my business. Everything is back. Also, I brought a property because of the lack of financial that I was having. I was unable to work on the, the property. And the people who sold it for me called me that they have sold it to another person, that they cannot refund back my money. But during the last speak I I told God that these people must return back my property because I paid for it. Oh. And after I left here on the next day, they gave me a call that they want to have a meeting with me. So I went there. When I got there, they pleaded with me and they gave me four, uh, 400 pieces of block to complete the project. Surely the Lord is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to call the Lord. Okay. So the people who are not going to be able to do it, they will be able to do it. 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 They will Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Bimbola. My first coming to this program was last year, July 2022. The, we are asked to write some prayer requests which I wrote out and I snapped on my phone to really know if my prayers are going to be answered. So then, I, I, those prayer points were, were somehow strong. Then August something happened. I was like, ah, did it really happen or it was a coincidence? So I, I just kept quiet then. I came again in October. We are also asked to write the, the prayer request also, which I did and snapped again that ah, do, I work with um, a real estate, Merita Boat, Nigeria Limited. I was not making sales. They were part of my prayer request then. I said, God, I want you to intervene in this. If truly you were the one that did it that August, I want you to prove yourself now again. <laughs> in history of Merita Boat, nobody has made that huge amount of money which I brought into the company. So since then, I've been, I, I said I was going to come here to appreciate God, but I'm like, ah, how will I go there? But when I was, even at home, I never had the intention coming to the altar to praise God. I always think of, okay, I will always praise God at my house or in the church. But when I came in, it says, either you like it or not, go and testify. You said what you snapped, and I snapped, and I went to check what I snapped then, that I said I was going to come to this altar to appreciate God, if truly he would do it. So I'm here this morning to appreciate God, to tell him thank you for his faithfulness. I give God the glory, God of this great commission that has never failed me. Even in my region, I'll be going, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell the fellow beside you, something's about to happen to me. Morning, Praise the Lord. My name is Zeno. I'm writing number, I'm 26 years old. But uh, 
my mom, my mom have take me when uh, anywhere that she, uh, everywhere that uh, she find solution to it, but there's nothing. But there, there was a day someone gave my mom in the hand B that she give it to me. So I, I come to this program. I, I, the minute I stepped to this uh, prayer city, I, I said to God Almighty that, God, if you can let this shame to be a hand, I'll, be, I'll give you the glory and honor. But, uh, but that, I didn't, uh, the next um, um, speaker, I did not even, I did not, not, not come and say, come and say what, I did not come what, I did not come and say, come and say what. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm Brett Retting. <laughs> Past 20 years. Okay. Open so Yoruba. Praise the Lord. Oh, communism, no. Eh, mama, mama keep it mobile, mama tossly. But mommy, me, mommy, me, wa fumi, mommy, ni ambi, pe kofu me, mommy, wa fumi, but wa fumi, mo wa simi ba. But me take it mo de ebi ba, mo wa safo long pe, wa long to ba le sheki, isho isho in kofi, o de o pe. But mo wa to long wa shefu me, mo wa. Jerry, <laughs> We can see her shedding the tears of joy. For the past 26 years, she has been bedwetting. And they have taken her everywhere to no avail. She came here, somebody gave her mother the handbill of her program. They attended the program. Trust our God. The bedwetting stopped immediately. She stepped at us on this mountain. To the glory of God, she refused to testify. Before she knows it, devil struck again. She started bedwetting again. But she came back and knelt down at this altar. God of Dr. Dike Olukoya, forgive me. I know I've done something wrong. And to the glory of the God we serve here, the bedwetting of over 20 years has come to end. The shame, the disgrace has gone forever. Listen to this. Luke 21, verse 13 says, And he shall turn to you for a testimony. Rise you of him wherever you are. You have listed on this great testimony. And you are here. The scripture says, And he shall turn to you for a testimony. For as many that are here, or you are connected to this service wherever you are, you believe that every good thing that is dead, that is dying in your life, you know that they are coming back to life wherever you are. Can you shout hallelujah? Shout it very loud, hallelujah. Shout your loudest, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Welcome again to this special edition of the Speak Who program. It is time now to bring out the word bomb. And be able to pray our special prayers. I want you to bring out the pamphlets in your hand. And bring out your Bibles. By the grace of God. Every missile of the word of God you throw today. Shall locate the headquarters of your enemies. Yo, and they shall be totally dismantled in the name oh, of Jesus. Now please rise with your Bible in your hands. Rise with your Bible in your hands. And make sure that your voice rings loud and clear. 
We are opening first to Psalm 2. Psalm number 2. That psalm that is powerfully empowered by the Holy Ghost. To cause confusion in the camp of the enemy. To make you a terror to those who have been terrorizing you. And to push you into the enforcement of your destiny. Are you ready? We are going to read like an archangel. With the voice of many trumpets. Are you ready now? One, two, go. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the law and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast the ways that cut from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in a sore displeasure. I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore. O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be hungry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in Amen. Can you shout a louder, Amen? The next one. Is Psalm 17. This is one that you are going to use to drag them to court. Psalm number 17. And the Lord shall give a judgment in your favor today. In the name of Jesus. When to go. Hear yeah, the right, O oh Lord. Attend unto my cry. Give yeah unto my prayer. That go I not out of faithfulness. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thy hand be all the things that are equal. Thou has proved my heart. Thou has visited me in the night. Thou has tried me and shall find nothing. I have proposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the words of men, by the words of the lips, I have kept me from the path of the destroyer. Hold on my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou will hear me. O God, incline thy hands unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saved by the right hand, them which put their trust in thee, from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who come past me about. They are enclosed in their own fire with their mouth. They, speak proudly. they have now come past us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth like as a lion that is greedy of his prey and as it were a young lion locking in secret places. Arise, O oh Lord! Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy soul. From men, which are thy hand. O Lord, from men of the world, who is your portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babies. As for me, I will be your thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with likeness. The final one in this session, Psalm 35. Psalm number 35. We usually call this one the intercontinental ballistic missile. Which can travel far and wide. 
to cause trouble for the enemies of your soul and trouble your troublers as you read this one the Lord will go to war on your behalf and your testimony shall shake the heavens and the earth in the name of Jesus I want you to read it with meaning with purpose are you ready? want to go clear my cause oh Lord with them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me take hold of the and buckler Thank God for my own. Throw out also this prayer. And stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be converted and be put to shame. That seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. That devours my heart. Let them be a shaft before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them let their way be dark and sleepy and let the angel of the Lord persecute them for without cause they have hid for me their neck in a pit which without cause they have dig for my soul let destruction come upon him and turn away us and let his net that he had catch himself into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord it shall rejoice in his salvation all my bones shall say Lord who is like unto thee which delivers the poor from him that is true for him yea the poor did from him that spoiled him false witnesses did my soul they lay to my church things that I knew not they rewarded me even for good to the spoiling of my soul but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sacred I humble my soul with fasting and my prayer returned to my own bosom I behave myself as though he had been my friend or brother I bowed down heavily as one that mother for his mother but in my adversity they rejoice and gather themselves together yea they had just gathered themselves together against me and I knew it not they did tear me and seize not with a hypocritical mockers and fist, they now support me with their teeth. Lord, how long will thou look out? Rescue my soul from their destruction, my darling from the lions. I will give thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are my enemies run fully rejoice over me. Never let them win with their eyes that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters. Against them that are quiet in the land, they opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, 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 our eyes have seen it. This that was seen, O Lord, keep not silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Stand up thyself and away to my judgment, even unto my cause. My God, Oh my Lord, judge me, O oh Lord, my God, according to the righteousness, let them not rejoice over me, let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we will have it, let them not say, we have swallowed him all, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together, that rejoice at my heart, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, that magnify themselves against me, let them shout for joy and be glad, that favor my right just call. Yea, let them say, let the Lord be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Can you shout sevenfold, amen? Amen. 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 Now, in the spirit of Angry spirits, angry prayers. I want you to take this prayer pamphlet in your hand. And begin to marshal them without pity on the enemy. Please, if you don't need to really sit down, don't sit down. Use the power of God upon this program to pray this prayer through today. Your testimony is sure. In the name of Jesus. God bless you as we begin to pray. In the name of Jesus.
you rise up on your feet. Shout Holy Ghost fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost fire! Long time problems die now. Long time problems die now. You must die in my life today. Is your hand? Long time problems die now. In the name of Jesus. Long time problems die now.
Shake it down, 
Okay, hallelujah. Shout it louder, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah, don't kill it. If you know that this morning is your morning. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Let's close our eyes as we raise our hands to the Lord. And say this louder than anyone around you. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Hallelujah. That is why you are called Jehovah. Hallelujah. That is why you are.
Today, that the defeat of their enemies will be massive. There are people here this morning. You have been taken to the coven. Even as you are here presently, you are tied down inside that coven. And you've not been able to gather yourself together. Something is about to happen. The chain used to bind you will be broken. There are some women here today. They have been mocking you. But beginning from today, that mockery shall become testimonies. There are people here. Anytime you want to move forward, something is pushing you backward. Anytime something good is coming. A satanic dream comes along. And the project collapses. Something is about to happen. That will change all that now. Their prayers, I want you to pray here today. Pray like a man or woman from another world. You are here for serious business. You are here for very serious business. When you have a dangerous problem, you pray dangerous prayer. When you have a mysterious problem, you pray mysterious prayers. When you face a deep problem, you pray deep Prayers. When you face wicked enemies, you pray wicked prayers. Something is about to happen that will put all your enemies to shame. With a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Can you shout this loud and clear? Problems! Assigned to consume good things in my life. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See what is happening. That's right. I won't Jesus, then we pray. As someone here, there's an heavy load, spiritual load upon your head. Another person is here. It's a total of 8 to 10 years. Total of 
Eight sicknesses moving about in your body. Oh, rich, rich, I saw me jaw to to long bela. Another person is here. Oh, let the mirror turn burning. You have been drying up. Engbe. The enemy is drinking your blood. Ota moleje. I'm going to count seven from here. Oh, count kade. And the power of God will fall upon you where you are. Agbara lo ro abali. And that yoke will be broken completely. Ajaga no asifo. Pata pata. And as I count seven from here. You want to count kade or reje? Everything that belongs to your life. Oh, bobo to to saye. That is inside the water and the forest will be recovered instantly. One, any, two, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Be released. Everything you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy is using against you. Just I command them to go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. You need to move from person to person. Now. From person to person. From person to person. You disturb our spirit husband. I destroy your wedding rings. Let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, let this hand stretch forth. Becoming a destiny deliverance hand. Let it become a glory recovery hand. Let it become a blessing recovery hand. In the name of Jesus. You are going to smite your head now. Your head is the symbol of your destiny. Smite it aggressively. As you smite it, the deliverance power of God will go from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Every plantation of darkness will begin to flee. Smile. As you smite your head, you will shout fire. One. Any. Do it twice. Smile that head well. And shout your fire well. One. Any. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. What's happening? Oh, Shelley. Yes. Benny. Every yoke of the serpent. Be broken. 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 Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. What? Any? Two. Eg. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Jesus. Jesus. Get us up ready. I'm going to count seven again. Smite your chest. Smite it very well. Every infirmity there will have to go back to the side. You smite that chest and shout fire. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven.
there is something is going on there something is going on that's right something is going on just that infirmity you brought here come back to the center go to your stomach now smite it aggressively shouting fire one two three four five six seven eight I want you to smile that place very aggressively. Very aggressively. One. Any. Two. Eighty. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Ben. Silence. A dark age. Silence. A three sisters here. Your womb has been taken to the coven. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you now. And you are recovering your womb now. As the first person. That's number two. That's number three. Voices from the grave speaking to you that you will die. I command the voices to backfire in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Light your amen. Roar like thunder. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smile the place 21 times. Shout him fire. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ben, yes. Ben. Begin to check your body now. Somebody came here with a deafening headache. And you can't watch it, but Lord, if you the headaches have disappeared. If only for not somebody it. came out with a swelling, a swelling place in the body. If you call to Wula Guare and you call swelling place has disappeared. If you told we all today, what the enemy has been drinking your blood, but your strength has come back now. Begin to do what you could not do before. If you cannot walk, begin to walk. If you cannot hear, begin to hear. If you cannot smell, begin to smell. You cannot see, begin to see. Put your faith into action. Check that pain in the body. It's gone right back to the center. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body well. If you know that you have been healed, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to the altar here so that we can pray with you. Check your body very well. Well, wrong put it to the altar. Don't allow the devil to put it back. 
See what is happening to that sister. The power manipulating your menstruation has been removed from you now. Yes, now the power of God coming upon you. Check that leg. Check that hand. Yes, that's right. I know you had stroke before. Check your body now. Strength is coming back to your body. Strength is coming back to your bones. Makatenda le kaya bo shendera basanda na kachetia kuninga satia right there where you are. Let that be silent. As someone in this meeting, they have been circulating your name from shrine to shrine. From which doctors to which doctors. Because of that, they have been experiencing uncommon failure. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken. It's 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 broken. I decree by the decree of heaven upon these seven sisters here any arrow of darkness planted in your body to prevent you from getting married. Let the fire of the God of Elijah fall upon you where you are and let the yoke of the enemy be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Yes, that's that's number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. That's number seven. Let her go. The serpent that has moving about your body. The fire of God is burning the serpents. You know? Check your body, it's gone. Makate sete layaba. Ribo sepe lekeya. Can you shout this loud and clear? Say every broom of witchcraft. Assign against my destiny. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now pray this two headed prayers. There are angels of God all over this place to bring the answers to these prayers. Say, stubborn pursuers. Stubborn pursuers. 
carbon problems. In my life. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Sisters, can I hear you shouting this loud? I say, sister, that needs to shout this loud. Let the brothers roar like thunder. What are you waiting for? Killing Kurose. So what is happening here? Eh, why won't that are saying I will not go far you must get angry in your spirit can you shout this loud before I leave this place Let your amen roar like thunder. Father, Baba, I ask for a consignment of brutal angels of God to terminate any stubborn problem in the life of anyone here. Let the angels of war begin to fight them. 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 In the name of Jesus. does not want to give you peace that is contesting with your joy like the brutal angels of God terminate them in the name Terminate them, terminate them, terminate them, terminate them. Terminate them. In the name of Jesus. Father, Baba, after the order of Korah, Data, and Abiram. Let the ground open now. 
and swallow every stubborn witchcraft and sign against your people in the name of Jesus ground swallow them swallow them swallow them yes sir in the name of Jesus I'm praying for that person here let your amen be dangerously loud powers assigned to quench the light of your children we bury them now in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray We cover the testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Pastor, let's share some of what the Lord has done here today. Surely, the Lord is here. In the course of the ministration of our Father in the Lord, the God of Elijah has wrote a lot of signs and wonders here. This young man here, his name is Divine. He told me as we are when we interviewed him for the past five days it found it difficult to breathe tell us I found it difficult to breathe my name is Divine I found it difficult to breathe for like five, five days but during the ministration I got my healing praise the Lord yes I can breathe very well your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Restoration of prayer. Our sister here, the treasures treasure sees. My name is Fola Kefa Ponda. When I was coming to this this yesterday I was praying concerning this program say God that's the only my prayer point God if daddy can mention my case that's my case it will settle my case is that I, my menstruation was ceased when I yes when I went to uh, hospital and they say they do not have uh, it's not pregnant that's they don't have they don't know what is wrong with it so since February that February too daddy mentioned that case uh, February that somebody is menstruation that is manipulated by witchcraft. But today, when daddy was mentioned, I was crying again that though daddy, this month you have not mentioned my case, and immediately he felt, and daddy just mentioned again that you a sister there that your menstruation is is manipulated and by manipulated, but now and God have released it. She told us suddenly she fell. The thing has come back. It's permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you, man. The same confirmation of the prophetic word. If if you move there, I will go only go now. Yeah, my name is Katie Cole. I just realized just now my menstruation just all of a sudden busted. Uh, over two years now. She told us for the past two years. Why did I tell you, Katie? The administration stopped. <laughs> but in the course of the administration <laughs> of the Lord, <laughs> the word of God went forth. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> immediately, Look the administration <laughs> stopped. Somebody shot fire. <laughs> My name is Bosun Olani Badmos. For the past eight years, something has been moving around in my body to the extent that it has got up, move, uh, come to my head. But when we are praying, Daddy was praying for all the thing jump out, and I give glory to Almighty God. That's moving God. up there for the no, past eight years, you know, this has been about the power of God. Of God. Of God. Of God. Of God. Praise the Lord. My name is Jason Ojo Clement. Over 26 years now, something was, was working around inside my body to the extent it has go to my head. 
if I want to sleep, if I go on the bed like this, some, some people will come and oppress me. But when daddy said that there is a witchcraft manipulation has been gone, so I, I, when daddy said that we should knock our head and all the, every place that we have pains, immediately I started knocking my head, knocking my chest, everything was go. I did not feel 27 years moving object in the body disappeared from the power of God. My name is F.A. Kingsley. I came with um, joint pain and severe headache. So when daddy said we should smite where we have issues in our body, um, I smite my tummy because I was diagnosed with kidney disease. And right now, I don't feel any pain in my joints. I am sick. She I told probably, us all the are, symptoms that followed this uh, kidney disease and it was told her disappear by the power of God. My name is Samuel uh, For three years ago, I've been feeling difficulty on my two sides like this. But I thought that our father and the Lord said we should smite wherever we have difficulty. So I, I smart the two sides like this. Immediately, I fell. She told us that she used to feel as if something is tying a womb. And but her. in the course of the administration, the power came upon her and the thing caught fire. Somebody shot fire. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy Molola. I've been having a slight headache whenever I shout or if I bend down too much for three years. But as I told the doctor, the Kolokaya said that we should smite wherever he's paining us. I smite my head for, for 21 times and I shouted fire. But now I cannot feel any headache. I was even bending down, no slight headache. My own is abnormal, chronic headache disappeared by the power of God. You are the to testify here today. Uh, praise the Lord. My name is Sir Chukwemeke. I just thank God yesterday when I was coming. I felt a very big pain on my feet that I wanted to turn back from beggar. That my daughter said this one is too hot. But I give God glory when our daddy said we should start eating our feet. And I eat it, I'm no more feeling the pain again. Long time pain in the body disappear by the power of God. Somebody clap for Jesus. My name is Yes, you are my name is Sister Chini and Simeon Chukudokwe. For past one year plus, I was having pains all over my body. But at the cost of that administration this morning, I was made hold. May the name of the Lord be exalted. One year pain in the body disappeared by the power of the Holy Ghost. Good morning, my name is Esther Olashubo. For the past four months now, I am having this moving object all over my body. But when daddy said she smart that place 21 times, I saw, I didn't see anything. Four month moving object disappeared oh, by the power of God. God. My name is Mrs. Grace Coinde, and there is a moving uh, object around my body since two years now. And I can't stand like this for five minutes without holding something or sitting down. But when our father said we should smash where he's spending us, I smash, I seen that it's running, I said today is the end, I smash it, I see that my legs, my, the two legs get. It has gone back to the center. Two years oh. moving on. Object in the oh, body disappear by the power of God. Hallelujah. My name is Michael Ayabomi. I've been feeling a moving object for more than four years now. So, as our Father and the Lord decreed that uh, we should smash everywhere you have pain or you have uh, sickness, I begin to smash from my head to the toe. And I now I discover that the moving objects and the pain has gone. Back to center, four years, moving objects. Disappear by the power of God. Say back to center. My name is Victor. Uh, I want to speak Yoruba language. Oh, my dear Lord, we to you. Amen. No, we pay. Oja, ya le no fumi lopo lopo. Ni o shuto kaja mo lo si hospital. Doctor on soft me we pay. Allah no ba mi she pay miki moti mi daki muka to bonoju ti ba she ben ba ti ku. Shuba mo du kwalo long la ti bi jere ti moti wa mi ba. Mo du kwalo wa ngoto Allah no she fumi. Allah no wo misa. I saw Ogbenu. 
to missile they be pay minimum ko e mo ti free osa died the by Lord the power of god the Lord delivered him from the spirit of osa today he has been made old good morning church my name is rita ofwebo i'm from portacot mfm rumola branch for the past six years after i gave birth to my children i felt pain in my womb the, any time they want to pay me it will pay me from my womb to my head it's, it will look as if i carry an evil load in my head so i say i've gone to many deliverances in, in mfm i've many many churches today when the, when our daddy in the lord was saying that we should smart our body anywhere we have pain anything that we know that is not wrong in our body i immediately i smart my womb i fall under anointing even where i was sitting down there i was catching every audio seat was catching i praise the name of the lord that the evil lord that the enemy placed on my head immediately our father the lord mentioned that <inaudible> <some> <inaudible> womb that <inaudible> Of God, I have the Lord. What is she? Will I be a share of the Lord? What is she? What is Mosun, ibati le mo mi le ri mo otun a lo spirit a se gbogbo nkan mi ri wo san o wa pe mo wa ri wo san to ba ya ma wa ma lo ma wa so ana ti mo wa nbi bayi o tun wa le ibati a se pray ago mefa tan mi tu mi le ri nde e kini room ki lo sun mo mo se bayi ni mo se bayi ni ani to wa nbi la na won ri bi ti mo nri la aro yi papa kin tu wa joko bi ti mo nri ni but igbati olusho pastor ni pe ka nkan ti a le se ka se ka gbaru igbati mo gbaru a mo wa ni pe olohun o wo ese isan igbato ni ka wa waju mi ri o mo fo hey for fire for the past 20 years she has been afflicted she came here today and see that you are not sitting there right now but today she stopped it to the glory of the living god and if i not it the law is in this way i don't want it Remain standing on your feet. Pick any song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. How great is this love? How great is this love? Forever the same. You roll back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. You said I never did. Trust him. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, Baba, as many as are gathered in this program, hey, I want to pray to Jesus. You know, if I do, let your hand of power, ki o wa para re, and of glory, atiti o go overshadow their lives in the name of Jesus. Proceed, wa ye mo ni oruko Jesus. 
Bring out your anointing oil now. Pour some oil on your palm. I'm supposed to come to this program with your anointing along with your prayer request. Pour some oil on your palm. Father, we thank you for this oil. Let the anointing for breakthrough. Anointing to disgrace every long term problem. Anointing to pull down the stronghold of darkness. Fall upon this this oil in the name of Jesus. The psalmist wrote, Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Let this oil make the cup of your children to run over in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of breakthrough, the oil of power, the oil of healing, the oil of deliverance. I sanctify, consecrate, and bless this oil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Now, use that oil to rub your forehead. Rub it vigorously. Don't feel sorry for that forehead. Rub it vigorously. That's right. Jesus. Put fresh oil on your palm again. Use it to rub your chest aggressively. Something is happening here. Yokes have been broken. Won't defeat for? Jesus. Put fresh oil on your palm now. Sit down and use it to rub your two legs. And as I rub it into your legs, say my legs. Hear the word of the Lord. You will carry me to my place of breakthrough. You will not carry me into danger. You carry me into prosperity. Into blessings. Into healing. Into deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Say, as I anoint myself today, it shall be well with me. No weapon formed against my life shall prosper. Affliction will never rise in my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You can put the oil away now. Let's put the oil away. And let's take our Bibles. As we open to the book of Genesis, chapter 32. I'm going to read from verse 24. Genesis 32. Genesis from 24. And what I want to discuss briefly now is the subject of our closing prayers. Genesis 32 Genesis Genesis 24. The fight for destiny. Eja fun ayomo the fight for destiny. Fun ayomo. Genesis 32 24. Genesis 
and Jacob was left alone and there was a man with him unto the breaking of the day and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day break it. He said, I will not let thee go. Except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called Jacob no more. But Israel. For as a prince as thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. This story is one of the most puzzling and mysterious narratives in the whole of the Bible. Very deep story. Very mysterious story. What kind of contest is this? A man wrestling with an heavenly being for seven hours. And uh, the heavenly being was not able to defeat him in the fight. Didn't look as if it's a normal fight. It will seem from this scripture it was not a physical just fight alone it was prayer fighting fighting Jacob was trying to fight a fight for his destiny it was a destiny fight he was fighting and so he fought that fight with desperation Jacob was struggling with destiny he had wives he had children but he knew that he was not blessed a man has cattle he has wine he has all kinds of things and yet he knew he was not a blessed man for some strange reasons he recognizes every being that was passing by and held him in a wrestling match Jacob let me go I will not let you go unless you bless me this narrative exposes to us how the battle for the destiny is hard it's not a five minutes prayer it's not a joking prayer the man was struggling with destiny your destiny is your pre or future. Your destiny is what has been decided about you before you were even born. Your destiny is the inner purpose of your life. Your destiny is the reason why you were born. Your destiny is the 
purpose of God for your life. Your destiny is what God had in mind before he created you and put you into this world. Your destiny is why the reason why you were born. Your destiny is the expectation of heaven for your life. What heaven wants your life to become. Your destiny is what is written in the book of God concerning your life. No wonder Jesus said, The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. So a man could go as heaven has now written about him. Those who will say, Well, if, if, if God does not kill somebody, nobody can kill somebody. The devil can kill somebody. The devil has the power to kill. Your destiny is what you are meant for, for coming here. Your destiny is who you are called to be. Your destiny is what you are to do in life. It's the blueprint of God, the plan of God for your life. It is the original plan of God for your life. Your destiny is the agenda of God for your life. It's what God has called you to do. Therefore, there is nothing more tragic than for you to forfeit your destiny. To forfeit your divine destiny. It is a lamentable tragedy to forfeit the purpose for which God has brought you to the earth. Because everybody here is different. No one is like you in this world. Your genetic makeup belongs only to you. Your, your fingerprints are so personal that there are no other fingerprints like them in the whole world. Likewise, your destiny is very unique. When you don't know that destiny, that life is wasted. There cannot be a harvest if you don't plant any seeds. There cannot be attainment if you don't have any goal. Unless there is a contest, nobody can win anything. Games cannot be won unless they are played. Destiny can only be fulfilled if they remain intact. So if you miss your destiny, the devil has a right to punish you. If you miss your destiny, heaven has a right to cut you off. If you have missed your destiny, the enemy has a right to ensnare your life. If you miss your destiny, you fade. Oh, into the archives of forgotten history. The archives of worthless history. If you have missed your destiny, all the shout of superiority over the devil is just a waste of time. All this you singing up, up Jesus, down, down, set, and the devil will just be laughing because you've missed your destiny. Why? 
Why should God begin to prosper you in something he didn't ask you to do? This is why the next range of prayers have to be very, very serious. Towards what end were you born? You miss your destiny. The person has come to live a wasted life. And it is tragic to look at your life <laughs> and discover that you have wasted it. If you have missed your destiny, then everything you are doing is just experimenting with your life. That's why your greatest enemy on earth is not the enemy that took away your money, it's not the one that took away your house. It's not the one that took away your certificate. Your greatest enemy on earth is any personality, any force, any conspiracy, any organization, any power that does not want you to fulfill your divine destiny. That is your greatest enemy on earth. So Jacob knew this. So he gave it the hardest fight he can gather. For seven hours the contest went on. From around 10 p.m. to around 5 p.m. in the morning. Jacob let me go I will not let thee go unless you bless me until he now asks Jacob what is your name what's your name the last time somebody asked for his name he had lied and said, I am Esau. He lied. I am Esau. But now he answered correctly. My name is Jacob. Jacob. And because of this passage of have read, that's why I said it's a mysterious passage. That something called the God of Jacob is found about 14 times in scripture. Three times we even read about the mighty God of Jacob. We read about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When a name is repeated like this, there is a significance. You can never read about God of Moses. God of Joshua. God of David. God of Solomon. But they say God is identified, or God identifies himself as God of Jacob. Because of that battle that he fought that night. There was a lawmaker in Moses. He wrote books in the Old Testament. A lawmaker in Moses. But the enemy kept him in the wilderness. There was a deliverer in Moses. But the enemy kept him there. The destiny enemies. There was a champion in David. And the enemy kept him in the desert. He was alive. He was enjoying himself. He was not fulfilling destiny. There was a prophet in Elisha. But they kept him in the farm. There was a messianic prophet in Isaiah. But he was just wasting time in the king's palace. There was an apostle. A teacher. 
Evangelist, prophet, a pastor, a Paul. Paul. But destiny was has made him to even be killing the Christians. There was an apostle in Peter. Apostle in Benin But he was busy fishing fish. There was an Israel in Jacob. Israel in Benin Jacob. But it was not coming out. So right now, so listen to me this morning. Jacob might be your current appearance. Jacob, but, but the dream of heaven for your life is to become Israel. That Jacob is just a transit camp. Jacob, not your final destination. It's not your final size. But in my one, you want to my one here. Where you are now is just a comma in your life, it's not a full stop. Maybe to one, you see, I mean, that you don't see any, you see, I mean, that you don't see just a bus stop, not a final destination. If you don't call a jack, you see, we talk, you see, it is therefore a terrible tragedy. Nick Baba, a jamba to lake or colonia when the temporary. And the transit now becomes permanent. What I'm trying to explain to you at this speak word program. Is your present appearance is different from God's dream about your life. Everyone is more concerned about the Israel that is inside your life. Everyone is more concerned about the gold inside of you that is lying dormant or lying silent. There is an Israel within you why you, you must pray that Israel to manifestation. It is crucial to your dream actualization. The tragedy is that many have accepted that Jacob has a bust up. Many have defined their own lives in the darkness of their past or in the trouble the enemy is giving to them. They are not identified themselves in the light of their future. There is the Jacob's dream. There is the Israel dream. The dream God is calling forth for you today. Israel dream. What I'm telling you is this. That you can be better than this. And this is not your final bus stop. You now need to pray from where you are now to where you should be. But then there is a problem. There are destiny robbers. There are destiny attackers. There are destiny abortus. They have done a lot of havoc to so many lives. Sometimes when a child is a destiny child, they begin to attack him from the womb. And when he's born, they continue that attack. If nobody intervenes to stop it, they will attack that child from the cradle to the grave. And pray for somebody here today. Every power that is against your divine destiny. Whether it's domestic witchcraft, whether it's polygamous witchcraft, whether it's envious witchcraft, they must die today in the name of Jesus. Light of Amen, rule like thunder. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. But I see if you are here today. And you are not born again. 
If you've not surrendered your life to Jesus, these prayers will not help you. So I'm here to help you. So that you can benefit from what God has prepared here. So if you are here, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to fulfill my destiny. Find a way quickly to the altar. Here. You've not done so before. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. Don't waste time. Find a way to the altar here. Do so very, very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you. Thank you, Jesus. the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Here. We have surrendered their lives to Jesus today. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let their lives no longer remain the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. See, see the pastor that just follow this pastor for a few minutes. You can join us later. God bless us to do so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain,
to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. 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 With your two hands. It is a symbol of your destiny. The symbol of your destiny. Give that head with your two hands. And shout this louder than anyone around you. These are destiny prayers. Your head is a symbol of that destiny. You will shout your name with a loud voice. Daniel Olukoye. Christopher Olumuhiwa. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands down now. Say, voices from my foundation. Fighting my destiny. Can I hear somebody shouting this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. You are alone.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank é you, Jesus. É seu Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu lagbadura. Thank you Jesus. Eseun Jesu. Father I'm praying for your children gathered here at this speaking word to long term problems. Baba mo n gbadura for mo re to pe ju pe se si ninu ipade soro egbe si soro lojo pe. Any power challenging the destiny of anyone here. Agbara ka gba to n pe ayo me ni ke ni ja ni Any power that is send over their dead body will you prosper. Agbara to n so pe ayo to n ba ku lo le serere. Any power that is totally pursuing you not to fulfill your destiny. Agbara to n li o pe in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the powers to die in the name of Jesus they must die 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 And if you are here, Beba sin beni and your destiny has been stolen. What's the jia your money money lobo? Your star has been stolen. Ira wore want to ji. Your glory has been stolen. Oh God, I want to possess your possession in the name of Jesus. How we need to possess them. You 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 possess them. And now they man. You possess them. 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 We possess them. We possess them. We possess them. In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Eshe Baba Oru. Jesus, then we pray. Ni oruko Jesus. Lagbadura. Kindly bring out your tasks and your offering for this meeting. Eju awo idame wa ati orefu ipade eje kamu oja de. God bless us to do so. Oh Lord, you open for abatin shele. Father, we thank you for the tasks and the offering. Baba, do be for awo idame wa. Good measure, praise and falling over. Oh, she want to da to. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands upon the life of your children. Jesus, my in them we pray. Ni oruko la Jesus la gbadura. You can see the boxes close to you there. E ori awon apoti ori to see. The time the screen. Oh, kabe o ti songre de rilo unta de. While we listen to the music ministration. Ba o ti boy she ro she ori kiko. Chineke idima. 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 Idima, <speaking in Spanish> Idima, idima, chine kani idima, 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 chine kani idima.
walking with Robi Wai. Idima, 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 Idima,
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we thank you for your grace and your power. It is time to bring out your prayer letter now. And stretch it to the heavens. Bring out your prayer letter on those long-term problems you don't want to see anymore. And stretch it towards the heavens. If you don't have a prayer request, lay your hands on your heart. Your chest. God can read the tablet of your heart. Father, all the requests written here on paper and those written on the tablet of the heart. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. This prayer you have written now, the Lord will over answer your prayers so that you don't have to write the prayer request anymore the Lord will over answer your prayers in the name of Jesus I want to make a prophetic pronouncement let there be a 21 fold amen for those who want to claim it I decree upon your life by the time you come to the next big world to longer problems program your testimonies are disgrace your enemy louder of fire will take your prayer request to the evilest and it will be stamped on the evilest thank you heavenly father the Lord blesses you some Zion make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory your testimony shall be awesome I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray and let us share the grace in fellowship all the days so dwell in the house forever 21 miracle receiving hallelujah let's go of the MFM International Headquarters social media family by liking us on Facebook, following us on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification bell. To be fully abreast of our programs, go follow, like, and subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. The theme for the April edition of the Gen 28 Marital Congratulation Program is Season of Laughter. This will hold at the MFN International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, 29th of April, 2023, 0800 WAT. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, will be presiding live. The Gen 28 Singles April edition of the Marital Congratulation Seasons of Laughter. This program will be made available on our social media platforms. 
Instagrams, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. 29th of April 2023. Be there. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. This May, evil conceptions, womb contaminations, vagabond arrows, dealing with star and destiny polluters, destroying placental bondage, all will be deeply tackled at the May edition of Power Must Change Hands. Theme, Marathon Prayer Battle Against Placental Bondage. This program will hold on the 6th of May, 2023, and Dr. D.K. Olu. The General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria, 7 a.m. WAT, and will be streamed live on www.mountainoffire.org and on all our social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixleer. Don't forget our very own free-to-air MFM television on IS-20. The May PMCH Marathon Prayer Battle Against Placental Bondage. Don't miss this day that the Lord will move from person to person and bring down every power troubling your life. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Women Foundation Monthly Prayer Meeting Program will break first Sunday of every month immediately after the service with the theme Women Arise. This gathering will hold for just one hour which will feature high praise and thanksgiving, Pentecostal fire session, intercession prayers for homes, children, husbands and marriage, deliverance session and a final impartation and prophetic blessings by our Father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Olukoya. The Women Foundation Foundation monthly prayer meeting program, Women Arise. This program will be transmitted live on all our social media platforms worldwide. Endeavor to be a part of this meeting. Dr. Mrs. Shade Olukoya, President, MFM Women Foundation Worldwide. Woman, thou art lose. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here.